What's good guys, Dennis the Business for Africa Social TV who is run doing now. Now we're back to entertainment, though uh, we have a big match to watch in just an hour or more. Now we are talking uh, with Kid who doesn't who says he doesn't care about uh, international appeal. And straight up, I want you to listen to this and uh, help me judge about what we kid said. Just listen. <laughs> I, feel, I don't feel no pressure to be honest, like, because I like to keep my life as normal as possible, so, like, I'm just like this, like, <laughs> with life. <laughs> so, I don't really care about international appeal, you know. Not like I don't care about my international fans, but, like, whoever listens to my music, listens to my music. Whoever comes to my shows, comes to my shows. Like, I just keep it easy and simple, you know, like, I'm not trying, there's no goal to who I'm trying to let listen to my music. I'm just really just enjoying life and just putting our music out there. And spreading love and positivities. Best things of it is just being me, staying true to who I am. Like, fans let me do whatever I want, like, just accept me for who I am. I feel like the African music scene is like, is gonna be one of the biggest, biggest, biggest in the world, you know, like, and I feel like um, a lot of people are gonna be blessed through this, you know, a lot of, like, a lot of things are gonna change. Uh-huh. I need you to tell me one thing. What this kid really means by this? Uh, David was just won an international accolade right there. And uh, we all know that uh, WizKid boycotted BET Awards and uh, it could be some of the reasons that could have affected him to going to BET. But anyway, that could not be a point. WizKid at this point in time has to be very careful when he says he doesn't care about international appeal. Then uh, we remember just one year back, he was craving for international collabs. You understand? Huh? With a list, uh, we, we've had him sing with uh, Drake, uh, we've had some uh, Chris Brown, and all that kind of stuff. But in an interview uh, with Kid, uh, I mean, I feel this is not right. So when you say you don't care about international appeal, yeah, then what is the incense of singing? Okay, he says that uh, he sings for his fans, yeah, he doesn't care about international appeal. That, does that mean that uh, Davido is really caring about international appeals at this point in time because he got uh, best international viewers, uh, uh, best international act as the award that the BET and was happy and uh, news is all about Davido? Well, anyway, back to the point. I played for you that interview. You can play that again and you just listen to what this kid had to say. No. Let's get to this pair, Whiskey and Davido. Yeah, we all know this is like uh, Ronaldo uh, and uh, and uh, oh, and Messi uh, of the music industry. They rule it when they want. Yeah, but the question is, the question here is, who who is going to rule? Who is going to rule? Or who is going to be the third guy in this music industry of Africa? Yeah, who is going to rule? Because you all know, I mean, we have. We have David, we have WizKid in the music industry. Who is the third ruling force in the music industry right here? Yeah. When one makes news, obviously the other also has to make it. Just to wipe the other news away from uh, the competitor. But the thing is, when WizKid, let me play for you this again. Let me play for you. Let me play it. Let me play it again. And you just listen for yourselves. <laughs> I don't feel no pressure to be honest. Like, cause okay. I, I like to keep my life as normal yeah, right as possible. Here, kind so, of like, but I feel I'm just like this. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't really care about international appeal. You know, not like I don't care about my international fans, but like whoever listens to my music, listens to my music. Whoever comes to my shows, comes to my shows. Like, I just keep it easy and simple. You know, like, like really. He keeps it simple and easy. Um, he doesn't care about international appeal. He cares about the funds. But hey, Wizkid, you, you know that your funds are actually uh, engaged to the international crowd. You get? I'm so bothered about this. So, so, so much bothered about this. Yeah? Let's continue. Let's continue with that, with that, with that clip. I'm not trying. There's no goal to who I'm trying to let listen to my music. I'm just really just enjoying life and just... You cannot say that there is no goal to who you're trying to communicate with it. No, 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 no. Your music has a goal. It's only that you're bothered about something. You're bothered about something that you just not understand. Yeah? 
Let's get back again and let's listen uh, to the continuation of this interview. Put my music out there and spreading love and positivities. Best things of it is just being me, staying true to who I am. Like, fans let me do whatever I want. Like. No. That is not true. When he says that the fans let him do what he wants, that is not true. It's just what he thinks. You get? I, I believe that uh, we, we kids has messed up around here. This is absolutely not the right thing to say uh, to the world that loves your music. Where's kid? Where's kid? No, 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 no. Let's continue to the interview again. Accept me for one. I feel like the African music scene is like, it's gonna be one of the biggest, biggest, biggest in the world, you know, like. That is very right. Africa's uh, music scene is going to be the very best in the world. But it won't be the best if a person like you says you don't need international appeal. Your fans are way beyond Mr. Wizkid. Your fans are way beyond Africa. They're actually international people who love you. Just the way Davido went to Suriname and covered over 20,000 fans over there. Let's listen to what his kid says right after here. And I feel like um, a lot of people are going to be blessed through this. You know? A lot of like, a lot of things are going to change. Okay, it feels like a lot of people are going to be blessed through this. Uh, a lot of things are going to change. These things won't change without international appeal. Well. I was just giving an insight of what this kid uh, just said in the recent interview and uh, I believe I for one, I'm not taking side but it's not right to say you don't need international appeal. Every artist out there is singing to make it international. Not It may not be every artist but uh, almost all artists, all people who have talent want to make it international. So I believe that is kind of wrong for his kid to say. He doesn't need uh, international appeal. My name is Dennis the Business. Keep it Africa Social TV. But as you let me know in the commentary section, who, who is the third ruling force in this music industry? My name is Dennis the Business. Click it uh, right there on Africa Social TV. As I meet you in Justin Giffy. I'm out.